Yo, what's good? Your boy Evan, stay like and lie, dolly, no fly, sucker shit. Let me first say, you no know, rest in peace, DMX. Um, I want to speak on this whole shit with Charleston White, the whole controversy. I don't know if a lot of people, a lot of people spoke on it. He calling, you no know, ex a dope fiend and shit. But the people want to say, well, he trolling or he say shit. I don't gonna lie, I saw the sage, the say cheese shit, and then just knowing how he moved. I'm not gonna lie, Charleston, I fuck with a lot of shit he say. I actually fuck with him. I'm not gonna lie too. The whole DMX shit kind of hit home to me because I fuck with DMX. Definitely part of my child. Definitely part of my childhood rap, hip hop, music growing up. Um, definitely gifted, talented artist. Um, his demons outside of music and whatever, you know, being addicted, dopey, how you gonna call? The thing why I would say to Charleston White, like, even though his point, I understand where he was coming from. Cause besides the headline. What Shay Cheese did was kind of corny, but like, besides all that, you know how he felt. He, I, I already know I got I got a gif of how he moved, Charleston White, like how he, you know what I'm saying? And I really feel like he's probably baiting a lot of people that love X and that love him to do something so he could use the whole thing. But the black mentality, oh yeah, you want to hurt me, but you don't want to hurt George Zimmerman. You don't want to hurt the cop that killed George. I mean George Floyd, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like I can understand his game is chess, not checkers. I can I know what he's doing. At the end of the day, all the people that love X, or I saw a video too, a dude, I guess, with Pim C, because he was also saying too, like when his man said, Yo, when I see you, I'm gonna see you. At the end of the day, it's that dude that said that, just leave it alone. Like, regardless of it, that could be your brother. Like, I feel like what he doing, let him say what you say. I don't care if it's for clout. I don't care if it's for recognition. I don't care. Or maybe it's a deeper message, whatever. I'm to a point in my life, all that shit, like, well, that's me speaking. I can't speak on another grown ass man. You do what you gotta do, but me though, I leave shit alone. At the end of the day, I, all I can say, I disagree. Yes, he do got a lot of kids. The ex do got a lot of kids, and they gonna see that, and they gonna see a grown ass man calling their father a dope fiend. That could look crazy. So, how they feel? I'm not gonna talk to another visual and tell you how how to move, how you wanna move. I just say how I move. If you you could do what you wanna do, you feel me? You see that man in the club, you see that man in the, whatever, a walk through or whatever. You wanna feel like you wanna approach him and get you know get crazy, do that. And I think that's what he want to prove a certain point, another point. So that's why I'll say like you gotta think smart, think two steps ahead of your opponent. Like me, he wants that to make more of another point. You see how the black school even though I, I fuck with Charleston White, I do. You know, he'd be talking about white people and be shit, like even though like I'd be looking like damn he wildin'. But as a white guy myself and all that in the coach, I don't give a fuck. I still fuck with what he say and I agree. The funny thing is, as a person, me speaking a lot, I, I say a lot of shit a lot of activists say, or the thing is, they're like, oh, how you a white man telling how the black man to feel a dude? You know, the shit I be saying, be, all the motherfuckers be saying the same shit too. They be on that type of time. But yeah, I feel like at the end of the day, that whole shit with Charleston White. Like, a lot of people, if you love your Pimp C's and DMX's and who we say, let that, let us see that man, let him talk his shit, fuck it. You feel me? Um, it's sad. I, I disagree with him, though. Someone I fuck with, like, I really disagree. Um, but I think he's a grown ass man. He know what he's doing. I mean, if it comes to a knucklehead, someone that has no respect for life or themselves and they want to do something to him or hurt him, and he has to be in a position, like he said, because he open carries, he, he admits it. And he feel like, you know what I'm saying? He got this is like a whole nother Troy Ave and fucking tax stone situation. When you see someone that be down talking you and you want to make a move and all, if you know that situation, if you real with this, you know what I'm talking about. Like I don't have to go and explain. If you know, if you know, you know. What's well, I still have to explain? But it seems like it's gonna be a tax stone <laughs> Troy Ave situation. But Charleston White's not with one individual, with multiple individuals. So that's what makes it worse for him because. It's sad, but I think that's what he wants. So if God forbid, if he gets in any situation, he could say, "See, that's what I'm trying to say." Like our conditioning and this, we can't be trying to. You rather hurt me than go after the white man. What's down down? Fuck with that whole white shit, which is crazy. But he'll say, "Yeah, you rather kill me, your brother." I'm just speaking the truth, but you won't kill a white man. You kill a white like, and then he be saying that too. So I'm not talking crazy. That's what he said. Like you don't know say verbatim. He said that, or cops or whatever, white cops. So I'm like, fuck. So at the end of the day, it's like, that's what he wants. So my thing is like, you can love someone unconditionally, 
that could be whatever, your mentor, your brother, whatever. Someone like him that's starting to get certain buzz and certain attention through the internet, saying some shit like, yo, he a dope fiend. And this and the third. And he, I ain't gonna lie, like, a lot of shit he said, I understood it. But I felt like there's some shit just don't have to be said in public. Or don't have to, if you feel like, like, the whole thing with, like, Kodak Black and with Nipsey Hussle when he died and he's saying about his girl and shit, like, yo, I'll make a move, like, even if you felt like that, just keep it to yourself. Don't make that known to the public because you look crazy, distasteful. Like, that's how I feel like with Charleston White with the DMX coming with Dope Fiend. If that's how you feel, feel like the, the you, broadcast, you broadcast it crazy. Like, people love, there are a lot of people that love DMX. They love that. So, you just putting yourself in a bad situation to come through problems. Like, you so old. Like, I understand you do sit for the youth. That you said, like, shit, all that. That's cool. That's why I respect you. Like, I don't know. It's you. I'm just saying, like, Sometimes you gotta watch what you say. You feel me? You know that's how you. And it's fucked the world. I know it. You can feel like, damn, no one gonna censor me. I'm a grown man. I'm gonna say how I want to feel. True, I, I respect that because I feel the same way sometimes. But it's like, you need to chill because people love this man. So, at the end of the day, that's I feel like this is just a, a play. It's on y'all emotions, people that really love X. You know, I know Swiss Beat said on the live, he said some shit like, no disrespect be tolerated, they'll get dealt with. And I feel like there's people that saw that interview with Say, uh, Say Cheese and they, they feel away. I'm not gonna lie, I felt the way, but then it's like, I'm not gonna go to another wrong man and make, I'm not gonna hit you, I'm not gonna kill. At the end of the day, I wanna live my life. I could've fucked with a certain individual, and that's just me as a fan. Now, God forbid, like his sons or, daughters or his family like people that if they feel away now if they do something you can't use that whole of a, and now like what he trying to do you can't use that if that's family they want to feel away you take them off of it that's different but that's what i'm trying to say trust me put yourself in a bad situation a bad spot and shit but it is what it is you feel me but rest in peace dmx he's definitely an icon a legend i don't go fuck if he you know he said he's a dope fiend or he's this and a third He's de he was definitely part of my life. Like, he inspired a lot of people, inspired me. You know, but then, any, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, let's just put musicians and stuff like that, like, artists, like, they may not have to be physically, you don't have to know them, but their music could influence you. And do music is powerful. People don't understand, but it's very powerful. So, yeah, DMX, definitely, regardless of what he went through, all the demons he went through, he's still a real individual, and that's why everybody can fuck with him. So, yeah, Charleston White, you definitely put yourself in a bad spot, but I know what you're doing, and I understand it, semi-respected, but you put yourself in a bad situation, but you're a grown-ass man, that's, your, that's how you feel, and I'm a grown-ass man, I'm just seeing my opinion, but I'm not hurt of it, I'm not going to say fuck him, I hope bad to him, because I'm not like that, it's not, it's, it's no need for that, but yeah, seven, stay like, and I'll die, you know, if I suck a shit, I'm off this shit.